Hello, thank you for tuning in to Riverside TV. My name is Wycliffe Owar, and today we are reporting from Ruiru Sub County. This is RTV on location. If you are tuning in for the first time, this is a show whereby we take views uh, from the public and uh, we are getting views from the public uh, on the situation that we are facing as a nation. And today we are talking about coronavirus and we are going to, going to get some views uh, uh, from some of the members of the public on how they have been affected since the, uh, the announcement of this pandemic that has affected many of the business. And today we are in Ruiru Sub County uh, where we are going to get some views, the business lady, business people. How has coronavirus affected business in one way or the other? Those who are going to charge, those who are doing their different business. And today I have a businessman here who is working in a car wash and he's going to tell us how he has been affected since the outbreak of this pandemic. Remember, we are reporting from Riru Sub County in Kiambu County, number 022. Mzee Labda utuambie, jina yako alafu utuambie, umeathirika aje kibiashara, we ukuna kawa washi yako, hapa umeashirika aje. Jina yangu ni John Dishongige. Nyoe tumeathirika sana kibiashara kuringana na wakati tulianza mambo ya corona. Biashara zetu zimerudi chini. Mbapo dasa hata Kitambo tulikuwa tunapata pesa kidogo saa hii zimerudi chini sana hata kulisha familia zetu zimekuwa ni shida. Labda utuambie gari munaosha pesa ngapi kama tuseme gari ndogo munaosha pesa ngapi hapa kwa hii kawashi enye? Gari ndogo kwa hii kawashi yetu sana sana inakuwaka shiringi miambili lakini kwa saa ingine unaeza ungea na mutu wa kitu kidogo lakini siyo sana. Kuna vile bei imechange tangu corona yanze ama ni bado tu mnaosha na hiyo lakini customer ndio wame reduce. Enyewe bei imechange sana kwa sababu utasikia customer mwingine atakuja kuambie mimi ni mtu wa Uber sipati pesa. Kwa hivyo saa hii sasa nitaanza nitakuwa nalipa 100 itabidi sasa una muoshea kwa sababu hauna otherwise. Inabidi sasa ufanye hiyo sababu yeye hana otherwise kulingana na kazi yake na wewe pia hauna otherwise itabidi uchukue hiyo 100. Wewe kivyako uh, hii Saturday tunangoja uh, kafi ifunguliwe na rais wetu mku we kivyako kwa mauni yako unaona aje mimi kwa mauni yangu ningeomba rais wetu mpendwa uhuru muigai kenyata anakuona ya yeah, ningependa rais wetu mpendwa uhuru muigai kenyata at least atuangalie sana watu wa biashara atuondolee hii mambo ya kafiu ndipoza tuweze kuongeza Hata uchumi wetu wa inchi yetu uweze kupanda juu kidogo. Sabu tukipata kitu kidogo hapa, hata si tutaweza kutoa kitu. I also had a chance to meet a business lady also here in Riru who is selling fruits. And she is going to tell us how she has been affected since the outbreak of this disease. Labda utuambie jina, alafu utuambie vile umeathirika kutokana na ugo nje. Jina yangu mi naituwa Mary Jelly, naishi Luilo. Lakini tangu hii wanju wa ikuje, eh, nilikuwa na tabu sana na nilikuwa na matoto kama waime hivi. Nikienda kwa soko kutafuta tukitu hivi hivi na, na fitu wa kujagi kutoka ngambo na ngambo. Hile inakujaga, kuuza, tena, hakuna jobu. Tena, hiyo iti na kuhalibika. Watoto, siku hiyo ukukosa nini, kuuza, lasima watoto, parale jo. Juu ya hiyo, corona. Mi ni kiomba, hii corona, ifungulio, siku hiyo muna sema, na tukae, vile tunambio tukae. Sata di unaona Sata ifungulewe ama eh? badu kafi uyendele? Kai, kavyo, kavyo isi yendele, lakini tuta jiunga, mutu wakae step by step. Social distance. Eh, distance. <laughs> eh? Eh, ni mzuri vile tunaambio hata ukikaa kwako ama ukienda ukakaa vile tunaambio tukae. Eh. Wacha tupate maoni ya mtu mwingine pia labda utuambie jina na utuambie vile umeathirika tangu corona uanzishwe Kenya. Sasa mimi naitwa Samuel Mugo na venye nimeathirika ni kazi hakuna kazi. Unashinda kutoka asubuhi magari zinakuja bili mtu kwa isirini. Naona Saa venye tukua tunafanya kazi usiku kuosa mat, siku hizi ya ziku ujiju zinafunga mapema. Kuna kazi ya usiku, 
Yenye walikuwa nakuja usiku wote tunakutana hapa mchana. Wewe ungetaka kafiu ifunguliwe? Eh, hey, ifunguliwe, afungue kafiu. Mbona? Juu tumeadhirika sana saa hizi kama nyumba hatujaripa, kukura ni shida bado. Au ni kama labda kuna watu watapata maugonjwa wengine tena? Ah, kila mtu ajizuie, tutajizuia. Ile umeathirika kutokana na ugonjwa wa corona tangu uanze hii Kenya. Kwa majina mi naitwa Wagari. Hii corona tangu ikuja imetuletea shida mingi sana. Juu biashara imekuwa chini sana. Juu kila mtu saa hii amekibiria kwa biashara. Kila mtu anangangana juu hakuna kasi yenye inafanyika saa hii. Ukileta fitu kila mtu ako na hizo fitu. Sasa hata ukienda jioni hakuna kitu umeusa juu mnangangana. Kila mtu kama ni doma kama hizi tuko karibu watu wengi sana wenye wanaleta hizi doma so mi nigeomba tufuguliwe sasa hii corona mambo ya corona tufuguliwe sasa kila mtu awe kama ni kujiletea fitu awe anajiletea fitu zake juu kwanza watu wenye wako na magari wanateka advantage juu aki ako na barua yeye mi namtegemea sasa akiedea anakuja anatuhusia kwa bei ya juu ukileta hapa watu wanaangalia juu hawana pesa mi nigeomba Iyo talehe, iyo talehe sita uhuru atufugulie hii mabo ya corona. Atufugulie sasa kila mtu afanya biya sana sake. Alafu tutakuwa tunajua file tutaka. Tuta keep distant. Maji tutakuwa tunaoga kila siku. Sana taisa tukonasa. Tutati hiyo maneno. Tugeoba tufugulie tafazali. Bia vile umeathirika tangu gonjwa uanze. Mi naitu wa John Nyoike. Ni mfanyi kazi hapa Roiro, mfanyi biashara. Na kweli ni mambo ya corona. Ama ni? Kuadhirika madhiri megi. Unajua sasa hata shida ni yapi ya mtu. Ukipadwa na oma unafikiria ukona corona. Hiyo <laughs> ikine sasa biashara imeadhirika pakubwa. Waza wateja wamepungua. Na kama wanakuja lazima waramike mabei. Sasa ni kama kila mtu ameadhirika kwa jia yake tofauti. Sasa hiyo hata saa hii imeuma sana. Juu mabei ya imeaza kupanda, vitu imeaza kukosa na inaadhiri, inaadhiri babaya. Kwa ikitika tare sita kwa mwani yako, unaona kafi uitolewe ama ibaki kilingi? Kafi u inaweza tolewa lakini wawe watu wa, wawe tahadhari kama ni hizi measures kuoga nini hiyo itilie manane kufaa mask kama ni kwa usafiri watu waende waendelee na kuzigatia ile nini mba, nini zimewekwa sheria zimewekwa asante labda utuambie majina na vile umeathirika tangu ugonjwa huu uanze kwa majina naitwa Njoroge ama majoro haka hanya. Mimi nimeadhirika sana kwa hii ugonjwa. Kwa sababu tangu hii ugonjwa ikuje, nilikuwa na biashara nilikuwa na supply vitu katika shule chuo kikuu cha Kenyatta. Lakini tangu wakati huo ilibidi nitoke kwa barabara. Kwa sababu saa hii nikaona wacha nikimbiria niki, niki matunda kwa sababu hii ugonjwa inataka matunda na kulingana vyenye waziri wetu wa afya anasema mutahikagwe na wizara ya afya lazima tu, watu watumie matunda mimi nikaonelea kwamba wacha nitoke kwa barabara ningangane na watu niwauzie matunda tena kwa bei rahisi so hii ugonjwa kwetu imekuwa pigo kubwa sana na tunaomba serikali kama itaweka mikakati mzuri ikiwezekana watu fungulie mipaka kwa sababu hii mipaka imefanya tuadhirike sana vitu kama hizi tunaendeanga kwa mashamba lakini kitambo upate hata hiyo barua inakugarimu ina, ina sana. So, ombiletu kwa serikali ni hii, watufungulia mipaka ili tuweze kuendea vitu kwa mashamba ili tuwe tunapata faida kidogo. Kwa sababu saa hii ile tunapata tu ni ya kukula peke yake. So, tumeadhirika sana. Alafu shule zifunguriwe kama itawezekana zifunguriwe lakini watu watumie mikakati. Tena naomba hata kama ni matiangi venye aliambiwa na rais akumbu a, a, ajaribu sana mambo ya makanisa afungue makanisa ili turudi kwa Mungu sana tuone kama kuna bahari tulikosea sababu hii nchi yetu 
kando na viongozi wetu vinara wa kisiasa tunajua kuna Mungu na sisi ni watu wacha Mungu asante sana e, mimi ile kitu natarajia rais aseme kwanza afungue makanisa lakini mambo ya kafiu hiyo wacha ikae hivyo lakini ma, ma, kanisa afungue na atufungulie mipaka lakini kafiu wacha iwe saa moja kwa sababu kama vyenye kama unaweza kumbuka vyenye rais alituambia anataka kuona tu corona twingi na saa hii wacha tu, tukae na wamama nyumbani hata wengine hawako wanajua watoto wao majina yao kamili saa hii wamejua na hata rais akiangalia saa hii wamama wengi wamebeba ni waja wazito na ikiwezekana hizo mahospitali rais ama hizi mahospitali zimefungiriwa kwa counties hizo vitanda naona saa hii sababu tutatii sana corona ipunguke tunaona hizo hizo vitanda na hizo hizo wamejenga tunaona sasa ikiwa ni matanet kwa sababu wamama wetu wamebeba ni waja wazito sana asante sana asante kuambia vile biashara imeathirika boda boda watu wako ama wapi kwa majina naitwa Paulo Wanjiko biashara biashara imezorota sana kutoka hii uwanja wa corona ama covid 19 imeingilia kati sasa mimi ningeuliza Mwebakisha siku kadhaa rais wetu afungue afungue barabara ndio uchumi iendelee ningeuliza kwa hisani yake atuondolee at least hizi vikwazo ama za kuing... vikwazo hizi ndo hizi za kafiu ndio biashara iendelee kuna wili kama kitambo It has been a very good time and for more of this information for more of these videos on RTV on location you can also get us on YouTube at Riverside TV Kenya on Facebook you can also follow us Riverside TV Kenya I have been your host weekly for world and this is Riverside TV till next time same place same time